Left in a hallway with no water and unable to go to the washroom, 96-year-old Karen Michelson had to rely on her grandson for help because the emergency room at Kelowna General Hospital appeared to be too busy to deal with her. Uh, it's almost impossible to get anybody's attention. Michelson had been brought to the ER by ambulance on Easter Monday after she took a fall in her bathroom. Once arriving at KGH, grandson Sean Heedle says the level of care just wasn't there. I looked at one girl, a nurse, and said, you know, could I, could I get some water for my grandma or could you show me where I could get the water? She literally looked at me and just with disgust and walked away like I had asked her the wrong questions. In came a doctor finally and that had been uh, about three and a half hours by the time her first doctor saw her uh, and that was the first time she had water. So um, the doctor came in with a student, a medical student named Henry. Henry got her some water, of course she had to pee again and uh, Henry went looking for a nurse and came back and looked at me like, you know, we're on our own. His exact words were, dude, it's you and me. Interior Health apologizes for how Sean's grandmother was treated, and they say they assess everyone who comes into the emergency room on the basis of their care needs and then place them into the available care location. We are busy at the site, and um, being a, a Monday of a four-day four day weekend, there was, that was certainly no exception. Um, we are continuing to respond operationally to meet the needs of the patients and the public. Um, as the demand for service increases, we respond to those needs accordingly. IH does note they had enough staff for the volume that was presented on Easter Monday. However, that leaves Sean wondering if that's the case, why he couldn't get his grandma water. There's absolutely water available in the, um, throughout the building and, um, you know, on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, which within the emergency department is an ongoing assessment and individualized based on um, each specific patient, patient situation. Karen Michelson had to spend the night in the ER despite her family being told a bed was ready. She's doing much better now, but still in hospital. IH reminds those who've had a negative experience within their care to contact the Patient Care Quality Office. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.